In this video, I'll show you how to add multiple prices per product within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and download and install the WooSuite wholesale plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the WooSuite wholesale plugin, you go ahead and navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the file in which you've just downloaded. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here, navigate to add-ons. Well, in your case, you'll activate your license key, navigate to add-ons, and then we'll scroll down and find the wholesale prices plugin. So here we go, wholesale pricing for WooCommerce. We'll go ahead and install and activate this module here. We'll also install and activate the pro version as well. So we'll just go ahead and toggle this to on. Okay, okay, then we'll go ahead and click manage. So here we are on our main settings page for our wholesale pricing. Okay, so we can create additional user roles. So say for example, here I've got a distributor user role. I can add a wholesale user role. I can add a gold star membership user role. It's totally up to you. Um, and to do that, we'll just click add role. For example, if I wanted to add a new user role called trade, we'll give the user role a name. So this would be like the meta key and this is in lowercase. Okay. And then we'll give this a display name and this is what our customers will actually see. And then where it says copy from, so this is which um, user role do we want to copy the permission from. Since it's just going to be a standard um, customer with some extra um, pricing um, discounts, we'll just go ahead and copy it from the default um, customer role. Okay. Then we'll just click add role. Okay, so now a new user role is being created here. We can go ahead and delete it as well if we want. Then we've got this option to delete the WooSuite branding. Since we've got a pro version, we can go ahead and enable this option. And then where it says show wholesale price only. So what this means is let's say for example, by default, WooCommerce gives you the option to add the product pricing, right? But when you add a new user role, it's going to treat that um, pricing as if it was on a sale, if that makes sense. So the user will see the original pricing crossed out next to the specific user role pricing. So we'll go ahead and enable this option if we don't want that functionality to appear. OK, so we've got the option to bulk export our product pricing and edit in a program like um, Microsoft Excel, for example. And then we can go ahead and re-import um, those pricing rules. OK. So I'm just going to hit save changes here and then we'll navigate to the product page and go ahead and edit a particular product. OK, so I'm going to edit this product here. So we just click edit product. OK, and then here you can see this wholesale pricing rules here. Then we get to choose who we want this rule to apply to. So we can say specific role and then we can go ahead and choose our user role here. So if you remember, we created this trade account user role and then we've got a few others which I've created beforehand as well. So we can set the pricing for this product for our trade customers at, um, let's say, 200 pounds. And then we can go ahead and add a new rule. So we just click this add new rule button here and then we can specify the user role as well. So in this case, I'm going to create a new pricing for admin. Since I'm logged in as admin, we'll create a pricing specific to admin. So we can go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to say for admin, you can get it for 199, right? So we'll just go ahead and update this and then we can check on the front end to make sure we get in this new pricing. So let's go ahead and hit view product. OK, and then here you can see that we're actually getting this product for a hundred and ninety nine pounds. So it's working exactly as it should. If you wanted to take this a step further as well and create more complex pricing for different user group and for different scenarios, you can go ahead and check out the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin by WooSuite. So if I go ahead and click on this dynamic pricing and discount rules here. So what this plugin will allow you to do is um, similar to what we've just done. We've created multiple different pricing for the same products, whereas this plugin will allow you to create um, more complex pricing rules. For example, you can add a pri different pricing breaks um, per user role. You can add different promotional offers. So buy one, get X amount or buy two for free. And you can create those rules based on a different user role as well. So you'd go ahead and check out this one. If you choose the all access plan, then you'll get all the plugins, um, which I've just mentioned. 
And that's how you add multiple pricing per product within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.